Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the 33rd A question from CBSE Class 10 Examination 2022-23, Section D where each question is of 5 marks. Now this question is from some applications of trigonometry chapter. The angle of elevation of the top of a tower 24 meter high from the foot of another tower in the same plane is 60 degree. The angle of elevation of the top of second tower from the foot of the first tower is 30 degree. Find the distance between the two towers and the height of the other tower. Also, find the length of the wire attached to the tops of both the towers. Now, let us understand this question by drawing a figure first. So, this is the figure. Remember that the figure carries one mark in these kind of questions. So, draw it as neatly as possible. Now, let us try to understand the figure. It's given that there are two towers. So, we have considered the first tower as AB and the second tower as CD. And the height of the first tower is considered as 24 meters as it is mentioned in the question. And here we need to find out three things. First, the distance between the two towers which is considered as X meter. The height of the second tower, H meters. And the distance between the tops of the two towers. So here I have considered it as y meters. Now the other information given in the question is the angle of elevation of the top of a tower that is 24 meters high from the foot of another tower in the same plane which means both the towers are on the same level. So the angle of elevation from the foot of second tower so if you stand here and if you look at the top of the first tower you are going to make an angle of elevation of 60 degree. The angle of elevation of the top of second tower from the foot of the first tower that is if you stand at point B and look at point C you are making an angle of elevation of 30 degree. Now we have to find the value of X, find the value of H and find the value of Y. Now here you can see clearly that there are two right angled triangles formed that is triangle ABD and triangle CDB. So let us separate out the triangles and begin with triangle ABD. So let me draw here. Now this is the right angle triangle ABD where the length of AB is 24 meters and the length of BD we do not know that is the distance between the towers which is X meters. And the angle of elevation for this triangle is 60 degree at point D. Now if we consider angle 60 as angle of concern the side opposite to the angle 60 is 24 meters. So this becomes the opposite side and opposite to the 90 degree is always the hypotenuse. So side AD becomes the hypotenuse. So the remaining side that is BD default becomes the adjacent side. Now since we have the opposite side and the adjacent side and the angle, we are going to make use of the trigonometric ratio tan. So let me write here. So tan of 60 degree is equal to opposite side over adjacent side. Opposite side is AB and adjacent side is BD. So we have written here. Next, we know that tan 60 degree is equal to root 3 and substituting the value of AB and BD, we get square root of 3 is equal to AB is 24 meter over X meters. Now let us exchange the places of X and square root of 3. That is X comes to the right hand side and square root of 3 takes its place on the left hand side. So we have here x is equal to 24 over square root of 3. Since we have a square root in the denominator, let us rationalize this that is multiplying square root of 3 to the numerator and denominator. So here we get 24 square root of 3 in the numerator and square root of 3 multiplies with square root of 3 giving us 3 in the denominator. Now 24 and 3 go in the table of 3 that is 3 1 times and 3 8 times. So we get the value of x as 8 root 3 meters. That is we have got the distance between the two towers as 8 square root of 3 meters. Next let us focus on the right angle triangle CDB. So we have, so this is the right angle triangle CDB we have drawn over here. Now the distance between BD we had got it as 8 square root of 3 meters and the height of the second tower we need to find which is H meter and the angle of elevation at point B is 30 degree. Now here the side opposite to the 30 degree is going to be CD. So this becomes the opposite side. Now the side opposite to the 90 degree is always the hypotenuse. So BC is the hypotenuse here. So default BD becomes the adjacent side. 
So in this right angle triangle as well, we have the opposite side and the adjacent side along with the angle. So we are going to make use of the tan trigonometric ratio over here. So we write tan of 30 degree is equal to opposite side which is CD over the adjacent side which is BD. Now here tan 30 degree is a standard angle. We know its value is going to be 1 over square root of 3. And then substituting the value of CD as H and BD as 8 root 3. We get 1 over square root of 3 is equal to h over 8 square root of 3. Now square root of 3 and square root of 3 both are in the denominator. So we can divide them together. And 8 multiplies with 1 giving us a value of h as 8 meters. So we got the height of the second tower as 8 meters. So let us write here. Now the one final thing we need to find out is the distance between or the length of the wire attached to the tops of both the towers. That is value of y. So let me redraw this figure here. Now this is the same figure as we had drawn before. The tower AB which is 24 meters high. Tower CD 8 meters high. And the distance between the two towers 8 square root of 3 meters. Now I have removed the angle of elevations over here as we do not need them anymore. So here we have to find out the value of Y. Now to find that out let me draw a horizontal straight line joining the line AB. And we have labeled the point on AB as E. Now if we look at this figure, BECD forms a rectangle and AEC forms a right angle triangle. Now since we said BECD is a rectangle, the length of BD will be equal to the length of EC. So EC becomes 8 root 3 meters. Now let us focus on this right angle triangle AEC. To find out the length of AE, we have the total length of AB which is 24 meters and the length of CD which is 8 meters. Which means EB is also going to be 8 meters. So the remaining length AE is going to be 24 minus 8 that is 16 meters. So that becomes the length of AE. Now let us focus on this right angle triangle AEC only. To find out the length of AC we have to make use of the Pythagoras theorem which is the hypotenuse square. So in this right angle triangle hypotenuse is AC. So AC square is equal to AE square plus EC square. Now here you can see that we have substituted their respective values. That is AE square is going to be 16 square plus EC square is going to be 8 root 3 the whole square. Let us simplify this further. Now taking the square on the other side of the equal to sign, the square turns into a square root. 16 square is split up as 16 times 16 and 8 root 3 the whole square becomes 8 square is 64. And square root of 3 square is, now square of the square root, the square root disappears and we get 3. In the next step if you see, I have written 16 as 4 times 4 and another 16 as 4 times 4. Plus 64 can again be split up as 4 times 4 times 4 and the 3 stays as it is. Now if we look at the factors, 4 times 4 times 4 is a common factor in both the terms. So by factorization we can write... 4 times 4 times 4 is a common factor, so it is pulled out. So in the bracket stays 4 from the first term plus 3 from the second term. Next, square root of 4 is 2, square root of 4 is again 2 and the same thing over here that is square root of 4 is 2 and square root of 4 plus 3 becomes square root of 7. Now 2 times 2 times 2 gives us 8 root 7. So 8 root 7 meter is the distance or the length of the wire between the tops of the two towers. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. If you know any other way of solving this example, do comment below. And if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.